Association. Let's bring in Dr. Judy Morris. She's the president of the Association of Emergency Physicians in Quebec. Dr. Morris, thanks for taking some time for us here on CTV. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Uh, your thoughts on what you're hearing from the Quebec government on the emergency room situation? Well, it's uh, uh, something has to be done. And I think that was the, the cry for help that my colleagues uh, uh, put out, uh, writing directly to the health minister, uh, Mr. Dubé, saying this cannot lo longer you know, continue. Uh, conditions are difficult. Occupation rate is as high as it's ever been. So at least, uh, you know, uh, that uh, they're uh, recognizing that. And now the important part is going to be to put plans in place that are going to help the situation, not only in the long term, but in a short term basis for the sake of our patients. Yeah, I know you're coming to us from the hospital you work at. How bad is it these days, Dr. Morris? Well, what we see is that throughout, like many regions, it's not a one hospital thing. It's in many regions, we see occupations rates that are, that, are, that are really high. And what it means is that uh, sometimes we struggle to give adequate care to patients, to find a stretcher for someone who's got a potentially critical condition, uh, to have personnel that is able to take care of those patients coming in uh, to actually achieve the mission that we were there for. Instead, what we're seeing is that our ERs are overflowing with patients that should be elsewhere. They should be in long-term care facility. They should be on 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 in a hospital bed. But our the whole system lacks this capacity, and and they're kind of stuck in the emergency room. But it adds burden disproportionately on the shoulder of our workers uh, within our walls. What's the solution here, Doctor Morris? There's many solutions, and a medium to long term solution is to increase our, our whole capacity. And I mean, we are, we're facing issues like that in the rest of Canada as well. Uh, perhaps Quebec is a bit worse. Uh, we need to increase the number of beds, long term care beds, hospital beds. If we compare ourselves to other countries, our capacity is much lower. Uh, but in the short term, I mean, this requires personnel. Um, in the short term, we do need to put in place solutions that are, uh, you know, a bit quicker in terms of, you know, sharing the burden amongst all the other areas of healthcare and and changing maybe a little way we practice medicine in terms of, you know, using more outpatient uh, centers and clinics uh, to work patients up or to treat patients as opposed to using the hospital uh, all the time and do so there's work to be done pre hospitally and 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 also within the hospital system. And what are you seeing right now? Be mentioned at the top about you know flu and COVID and RSV and all of these things, plus staffing shortages in Quebec hospitals. You know hallway medicine, so to speak. Uh, how that's making things even worse for for you guys? Yeah. Well, uh, given that our capacity is stretched thin to the limit, and it keeps getting worse, it seems every year. At any peak, any increase of visits because of the flu, because of COVID, will you know, make the system uh, be overwhelmed or any for that regard, you know, holidays or or, or if we lose personnel, it's going to also put our care in jeopardy. So we need to address this. We need to increase our capacity. And uh, because it, it, and well, now that we're in this situation, we'll be really careful with all those viruses when, you know, meeting people um, get making sure we get our, our flu shots, our, our COVID shots. Uh, so that we protect people around us, especially the more vulner vulnerable patients. Yeah, it makes sense. Dr. Judy Morris, the president of the Association of Emergency Physicians in Quebec, joining us today from Montreal. I know it's very busy, but it's great to have you part of our coverage today, Dr. Morris. Thank you. Thanks.